everybody, welcome to Let's Stamp with Phyllis. Um, I just want to take a couple of minutes to show you a quick little video of the Stampin' Up! new ink colors uh, for 2016-2017. And I am just trying to set up some te techno stuff on my page here. So um, if you can just bear with me for a second, I'll see if I can get this. Okay. Perfect. Um, we have every year Stampin' Up! comes out with five new ink colors and this year is no different. Um, we have five exciting ink colors and one of the things that people always ask is what they look like in comparison to some of the other colors that we have. So I've done a little chart and I'm going to go ahead and stamp those and um, I will upload this chart on my blog and the link will be down in the video. Um, when I post it on YouTube and also on um, the Facebook page. So you'll be able to download um, a blank chart if you want to do your own and also the chart that I've created here today in the video. So uh, let me go ahead and flip the camera down so you can take a peek and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, let's flip this. Okay, so hopefully. See if we move it down. I'm just trying to make sure I have everything. Ah, there we go. Okay. So the first color that we're gonna work with, and if you see I've combined um, berry burst with fresh fig. Uh, these colors are very similar, they kind of go together. Um, and I just put them all on one chart. So let's go ahead and we're going to stamp the berry burst first. And I'm just taking a heart from the work of art set, which is right here. Okay. And I'll stamp it upside down. So here is the berry burst. And that is just a beautiful um, cross between a darker red and mauve. So let's pull out Rich Razzleberry and see what that looks like. Okay, so we have, and I'm just cleaning my stamp before I do each color so I can give you a pure color. Okay, Rich Razzleberry. So you'll see that Rich, Fat, rich Razzleberry is uh, quite a bit darker. Now I'm gonna go with Real Red. And we have real red here. Okay, so look at the differences of those three colors. Now I'm going to pull out Fresh Fig. Fresh Fig is the other new 2017-2019 in color. And you'll see that this is a nice color. It really fills a hole in our palette. So let me stamp that. Okay, now when I first stamped it, because of course I did a little practice run, the Rich Razzleberry and the Fresh Fig are very similar. They seem to have the same tone, with the Fresh Fig being just a little bit darker. The Fresh Fig seems like it has just a smidgen more brown in it. Okay, let's look at the Rose Red. Okay, here we have the Rose Red. I'm sure you're all expecting a much redder color um, and I was kind of surprised because with this palette the rose red looks um, redder than the real red I thought that that was very interesting so now let's pull out the cherry cobbler didn't know we had these this many uh, colors in this family as far as the red hues okay so the cherry cobbler is a little bit browner. And then I wanted to pull out the Sweet Sugar Plum, which is a 2016-2018 in color. Just wanted to see what that looked like, so let's check that out. Sweet Sugar Plum, pull that down. Okay, um, again, the Sweet Sugar Plum seems to be right in line with our Rich Razzleberry Fresh Fig and um, the Sweet Sugar Plum. 
And the last color, and I kind of just did this for giggles. I wanted to pull in the Cajun Craze because, of course, that's more of a brown, a rust color. But I just wanted to see what it looked like in this family. So let's take the Cajun Craze and stamp that. And there you go. Um, you can see that that kind of really doesn't particularly fit. Um, but I wanted to see what it looked like. So there we go. Now, Lemon Lime Twist is our next in color. So let me pull that up a little bit. And I like this. Um, I, this is my favorite in color. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie to you. It is the fave. So let me clean my heart and stamp this. And voila, isn't that just such a beautiful, um, pure lemon lime color that you would, it's kind of what you expect from the name. I don't know how Stampin' Up! comes out with all these different names that fit the colors perfectly. Okay, so now we're going to have Wild Wasabi. So let's stamp that. Okay, so that's a little bit greener. The next one is going to be Pear Pizzazz. that one out and here we go okay so we went gone from light to dark garden green is going to be our next color that we're going to stamp so let me take this garden green Emerald Envy, at first I wasn't going to stamp this in here, and then I did it the last minute, and I'm really glad I did. I was surprised at how it looked with these other colors, to be honest with you. Um, surprised in a good way. So here's my Emerald Envy. I like these two colors together. I think that that's going to be really a great color combination. Old Olive, which is one of our long-standing favorite colors. And just trying to make sure I get all that color off. So here's my old olive. All right, and boy, done old olive and pear pizzazz look really nice on that. Um, and then I kind of again th threw in at the last minute um, some yellow colors. I wanted to see how they pulled in with the lemon lime twist because they're more um, of a I want to say, well, I don't, I, I don't know if it's a warm color or, curl, uh, or a cool color, to be honest with you. So let me just stamp it so you can see what it looks like. Here's our Daffodil Delight. And doesn't, doesn't those two colors, don't, not doesn't, don't those two colors look great together? And then the other yellow color that we have is so saffron, which is in the subtles, which is a much softer um, color. So let's stamp that. So saffron, ta-da! And again, I think that those colors really complement each other and will look uh, beautiful together. So we have the Lemon Lime Twist and we have the Berry Burst and Fresh Fig. So now we are going to work on the Tranquil Tide. And Tranquil Tide's kind of a tricky color because Tranquil Tide has a tendency to pick up the colors that you use it with and it will kind of change colors. Um, it's similar to Sahara Sand that we currently have. Um, Sahara Sand will have different hues depending on what cardstock or what color you use with it. So let's stamp this Tranquil Tide. And this is really a pretty color. Okay. See, it's a dark. Um, of course, when you um, stamp these colors, or any color, Stampin' Up! color, as they dry, they lighten to more of their true color. So that's our Tranquil Tide. So let's compare that to Always Artichoke. Tranquil, Kai do, uh, Tranquil Tide does have um, a blue hue. Here is Always Artichoke. Oof. Let me see. You think I can stamp that again and get it in the right spot? Probably not, but let's, 
Let's, oh, look at that. So there's Ari's artichoke, and you can see that it is much greener. Okay, so now let's go to Garden Green. And let's see what we have here. Garden Green. Oh, that's a nice mix between the two. It really kind of should have flipped those around. Um, Island Indigo. Now, Island Indigo is going to have more of a blue hue. It's more of a blue than a green. And I wanted you to just kind of see how this tranquil tie is going to look with all these blues and greens. So you can see how that is a lot bluer than the tranquil tie, but you can still see that blue hue in there. Let's go with Dapper Denim, which is another 2016-2018 in color. We only have a... Uh, one more, we'll have one more year left with Dapper Denim. So we'll stamp that. It's a little darker. And then I, again, I wanted to pull in Old Olive because I just kind of wanted to see what that looked like. So let's try that. Old Olive. Okay, and if um, you have joined into my video and I haven't acknowledged you, I'm not ignoring you. It's just the way the camera, the way my camera is set up, I can't really see who's coming in and who's not. So um, if you've come in and I haven't said anything, welcome. Uh, maybe if I do, I was trying to see. No, nope, that's not going to work. So anyway, let's continue on. Emerald Envy is the next color that I'm going to pull in as soon as I find it. And this was a, a last minute addition when I was stamping my colors because I thought Emerald Envy is not even going to go with Tranquil Tie, but I was really pleasantly surprised with how it looked. So here is my Emerald Envy. Okay, so there are our green blue colors. Uh, last but not least, we're going to work on Powder Pink. And powder pink is, um, it, to me, again, it fills in a void that we've had because it is really more of a skin tone. Um, let's see, let me find my powder pink. Here we go. So here's my powder pink. Okay. Beautiful. Now there, it kind of gives you... You, you think that it's more of a pink color, right? I get it. You do. I know. So, whoops. Let me pull my Blushing Bride. And now you're going to see where it's more of a skin tone. It's very interesting how all these colors work. Okay. So here is my Blushing Bride. Okay, so see that is redder or pink, more pink than the powder pink. And then the last color that I'm going to pull in is pink pirouette, so you can see that. Okay. I should have done the light colors first, to be quite honest with you. Pink pirouette. Okay, so now you can see that that is really a nice true pink. So your powder pink is your soft, more of a, a flesh tone. Your blushing bride is um, darker. And then your pink pirouette is kind of right in between. So there um, are your new ink colors. So here's the first sheet we did. Okay. And here's the second sheet we did. And I will go ahead and see uh, the next time if I can figure out, oh, how to um, figure out how I can see your comments and record at the same time. Sometimes I'm just not that coordinated. Uh, so anyway, thanks for tuning in. Let me flip this back up. Okay. Um, 
Oh, Lynn Henderson joined. See, I'm a little slow, but I'm here. Um, thank you, Lynn, and everybody. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comments below, and I will certainly answer them. If you have any suggestions for other videos or color combinations that you'd like to see, um, I'd love to do those for you, so just let me know. Um, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thank you. Bye.